Well, hello, guys. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Look, he's still not talking to me. I get up in the morning, I have my coffee, I do my thing, I come on, and I check comments from you guys. And someone mentioned the llamas with hats, and I just absolutely lost it because I'm like, oh my god, I wonder if that would work. So I went back into the game, and I got two llamas. And I put a hat on one, and I named it Carl. And then I said, llamas eat humans. Do you know those llamas ate every human being? <laughs> and, and, and Loki is just face palming. He's like, you have the power for, of a god, and all you're doing is feeding humans to animals. I fed them to llamas. I fed them to foxes. I fed them to bears. <laughs> I feed the animals. <laughs> And you can feel the gods back there, but you have humans. You could give the humans apples. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and it was fun. Um, you know, it's just... I, I like having the animals on there and the humans the way they're programmed, ser you know, seriousness. They tend to get in the way. They tend to take over things. It's a human priority game. That just won't do. I, I told the humans that, you know, the humans to sleep or something, they wouldn't do it. So I told the foxes in the winter wonderland, I said, humans eat fox. And this, this girl is sledding, okay? And there's seven or eight foxes running behind her. Like a tiny pack of wolves. <laughs> and then she got off the sled and she got into the jacuzzi and I couldn't get her out because humans won't listen. I even tried to grab her and it wouldn't let me grab her. So one of the intrepid little foxes went over there and ate her in the jacuzzi. <laughs> My fox on me and I are ready to dominate the world. Um, it's just fun to play. It is fun to do that. And, um... It's not my fault the humans won't listen. <laughs> and I'm sure there's a really profound spiritual message in there. One second. But yeah, and I went back in, guys, and I found out instead of like five or seven little worlds, there were actually 21. So I kept visiting worlds to see what kind of chaos I could unleash. <laughs> I had a dolphin eat a fireplace. I was a very bored guy. Um, it's, you know, they give you all these set pieces, and they leave you free to use your imagination. And I suppose normal people would have imagination of, um, you know, there's a church setting. <laughs> and I suppose they would have a picnic at church. <laughs> this is one going to hell for <laughs> There were way too many people to help for that church to hold in capacity. You understand? <laughs> That's when the llama showed up. <laughs> so, yeah. I think Jesus thought it was funny. <laughs> um, It's funny how the gods are responding. La Santa thinks it's funny. Jesus doesn't seem to care. The rest are speaking to me. <laughs> Look, he thinks I'm a monster. He said, you know, you got re something really dark and evil <laughs> inside you. The <laughs> first chance you have to build a peaceful world and to have real peace in your feet, <laughs> humans to animals. <laughs> and the bad thing is, guys, I can't stop. Every time I go in, I'm like, okay, okay. I'm going to... I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to be kind to the humans. And then I just look at the humans. And he look like those assholes from those fancy clothes commercials. And something snaps. <laughs> and I'm feeding them to bears. <laughs> if they didn't look like rich and entitled assholes, I don't think I'd be feeding them to people. <laughs> that's, and that's it. If they look like everyday people, just like normal people, I wouldn't feed them to people. These look like rich and entitled assholes. <laughs> I'm like, come here, Mr. Bear. <laughs> I got a snack for you. So yeah, it's a game where you can f uh, feed hipsters to bears. 
So yeah, I've been really enjoying that game. I, I'll tell you what, it's just one of those games. You know how some stuff just pisses you off? Even the commercial for it pisses me off. There's two little smug hipsters sitting there with their little tablets doing things. It's just looking real smug. This damn expensive setting pissed me off. So I fed them all to the animals. I, I'm wondering if I can get snowmen to eat people next. <laughs> There's one rich person that <laughs> watches this channel on sub on sub on sub. <laughs> but yeah, guys, it was good and it helped me blow off steam. I worked out pretty heavily this week, at least for me. And um, we agreed this weekend I would um, take time off. So I need something to do with my time. Apparently c killing humans was what I needed to do. It is a, it's actually a great game. If you were more peaceful than me, you could populate it. We, the cat and the coyote like butterflies, so we had butterflies. So you can populate it with animals. And if you're really nice people... You you could probably have humans in it and, you know, let them ride theme park rides or something. Whatever's in there, I don't know. I don't know. I just look at these humans. I get incredibly angry. <laughs> uh, the only ones that don't seem to mind are the great gods. They're like, mm -hmm, feed them to the lions. We don't care. You can put mountain lions in this game and have them eat people. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. And I'm not drunk or anything. It's just, it. I think it's a idea of letting go of everything that's inside you and letting go of all the tension inside you. And there's a lot of tension in this country right now. And there's a lot of the haves and the have-nots, and most of us are have-nots at this point. And you see the few haves running around, and you know you would have to hit the lottery ten times over to reach that level. And it's implied there's something wrong with you if you haven't. And of course there's not. So it's, it's kind of satisfying to feed them to animals. <laughs> if there's ever a purge night, my neighbors are hiding <laughs> But anyhow, it was fun. And you have to do something like that, guys. Find something to let the tension out. A lot of people box, or they run, or they jog, or they listen to music. But find something that will find the tension you didn't even know you had and let it out. Because after a while, I got bored. You can only feed humans to so many animals and destroy them in so many ways. And you're like, eh, I'm, I'm bored. I'll leave the rest of the world alone. The humans can live for now. Eventually, maybe I'll be nice to the humans, just not today. <laughs> you know, poor tiny humans. And, and you know what makes it so funny? Look, Loki's, <laughs> Loki's reaction. It, it, it's like that person said, um, like llamas with hats, and I'm Carl. <laughs> Carl, stop eating the humans, Carl. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, it's still funny. Don't worry, in a day or so it'll wear off. But yeah, I just I I appreciate when you guys make comments and it inspires me to do something. So that really helped get out something I wasn't even aware was there. And you know, it it is important to do that to find out a way to let all the tension out. <laughs> So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. I don't think like he's talking to me anymore. <laughs> so, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.